afternoon and welcome to Blue Dickers Detects. We detect in Cumbria, UK, although today we are in Lancashire. And today is my birthday, so it's a happy birthday to me. And I've got a new spade, which is a long time coming. The other one was absolutely shattered and I'd had it 20 years. So Chris has bought me a new spade. Okay, so I've got the whole of the afternoon on this land. I've got Chris and my sister with me, so hopefully we're going to fetch up some goodies. So here's my nice Barclay new spade. And I'm trying it out for the very first time today on my birthday. It's a black, do you call them Ada or Ada? Black, black Ada, black Ada. Uh, yeah, it's chopping through this dry ground really well and I am pleased with it. So that's my first find for today. Um, it's a George Third penny, half, half, possibly penny. My second find today, a pocket knife. There we are, that's my next two finds. Um, this field is notorious for these, but I've had gold off this particular field that I'm on now. Uh, a gold hairpin with diamonds in it, so um, I'm going to keep looking around. But yeah, we are up against these, there's a lot of them. And my next find is a George V. Again, another good signal, and uh, it is reading 83 on pitch program. We'll give that a dig. And I've got that one out. And it's just a doorknob. First one of those for the day, let's hope that's the last door anymore. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Just there. You call him a mayfly. No, not a mayfly. It's like a, a blue dragonfly, I can't think what to call him now. So I'm trying, I've just stopped to show you <laughs> all the stuff that I'm finding. Not a lot. You've got ring pulls, you've got tube, tin foil, oh, some wire, oh, shotgun cartridge, lead, pen knife you've seen. This is like a thermos flask top. And another thing here, I have no idea what that is. Yeah. A lot of rubbish really and it's blowing off. <laughs> this, when I found this, I thought I'd found a bucket list. I thought it was a seal matrix. But it's not. Rubbish. But not a very good day really, but we haven't finished yet. Sister's rushed off to go and calf a cow. But she will be coming back. Uh, haven't heard anything from Chris. So I'm assuming that's a bad sign. Keep going for a little while. That's my next find. It's just a button. I'm making my way towards Chris now. My sister's still not back from sorting that cow out. So um, I think I'm going to make my way to Chris and probably pack up. I'm just doing a voiceover for this clip. I put the mic in and it was picking up interference from the phone. I perhaps should have gone into aeroplane mode. But yeah, the green fields that you see are all permission that my sister has for us to do. So plenty to go at. Finally, a piece of silver's come up. Um, sister's fine. Just say silver there and it is hallmarked. 
think it's been part of a walking cane. Yep, I'd be pleased with that. Very pleased if that was mine. My next find, a uh, spendable penny. Just caught up with Chris. Um, he's got 60, 65 pence worth, I think. So, so far I'm winning with the older coins. Sister's winning with the silver. And Chris winning with the, uh, the amount. Bucket lister. I haven't got one of these. This is my very, very first, so if I don't find anything else, I'm pleased with this because I don't have a Jew's harp, or I didn't have, but now I have. Yay! Pleased with that. mention um, a couple of weeks ago I bought a, a tripod went out set it up got a decent video um, using the tripod dig lots of live digs using the tripod found a hammered and found a silver sixpence 1911 I think it was came home, edited the video, thought it was a really good video because I'd actually done some live digs and that's how the hammer came out and somehow or another I deleted the whole clips, all the clips, everything, everything went, I deleted it. I've tried to find it in storage but can't find it anywhere. Um, but next time I go out, on my own permission, now this, this one's my sister's and I'm only here for a few hours. Next time I go out, I'll set it all up again and do some more live digs. And hopefully capture a hammered. I will put some photographs of the hammered and the sixpence on the end of this video. Just to show that I did actually find it, although you didn't see me. Okay, so I got this new spade and it looks a bit bare. So I decided when I got home that I would put the stickers on. And the order that I'm putting them on is the order that I have received them. So first of all, we've got Suffolk Sifter. He does a, a live every Wednesday night at nine o'clock. And my next one is, I don't know if that's going to fit, MS Detectorist, but I'm not sure if it's not going to be too big. It's going to work. So MS Detectorist. And the next one is um, Carry On Searching. next two came together so I've got a geek of bleep geek of bleeps I should say that's Lucy and Samantha so they're going on mm -hmm. 
and Griff finds. Let's tilt you down a bit. Oh, there's my glamorous assistant. Oh, that looks better now. Brilliant. If you haven't already subscribed to these channels, please go and have a look and subscribe to them. They're all great channels. Just a bit of fun. I'm trying out Chris's Mine Lab 800 for Night Mower Mine Lab Knox 800 for five minutes or so. And I've just got my first signal, so digs. Chris is digging it for me. Come on. So that's an 11. Never used this before. It's beginner's luck. What is it? Oh, one of them skinny. Skinny little coin type things. Mm. I've had another one like this today. Oh. I'll have another little go then. Right, so this one's an 11.12 on the Knox 800. Uh, I've told Chris that if this is a hammered, he's going to have to buy me one. But he says if it's a hammered, it's his. I think it's a bit rude. Oh, I'm still in pinpoint. Nine now. I'm filming. I know you don't like me filming. You. When you got your hands. Come on, Ahmed. Low. I don't know, it's a part of a book or whatever. It's not a hammered. That's a bit of a bugger. Yeah, I think it's part of a buckle. Never mind. Hi, uh, yeah, that's us done. Um, not much found today, but it's my birthday. Could I have spent it any better? No. I love this hobby and uh, that's the best birthday present for me to have the day off and spend it on the field, whether I found anything or not. Um, didn't matter. I've enjoyed myself. Okay, thank you very much for watching, subscribing, liking, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.